Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones Hard Mode! In the last episode we did one of my least favorite chapters of the game! And we failed. We, I mean, we completed the chapter without losing anybody, which is fine, but we didn't do the secondary objective, which was not let the little girl die. It sounds terrible, right? Well, it actually happened, yeah. Well, yeah, the sp giant spider killed, yeah, we so we didn't get the Orion's Bolt, which we could use later in the game to promote Nimi to her next class. But, uh, but, oh well, we'll have to do something else with that later. Anyway, we're going to Renval now! Rumor said Avram has been defeated and taken prisoner. Now Erika must find a way to rescue her brother from beneath enemy eyes. Erika is coming to rescue us towards Castle Renval, where Avram is being held. Surrounded by lakes, Renval is an all-natural fortress, but unassailable. Oh, so we're going to be in the outside area of where Avram and them just were in. So, that makes sense. My one choice, you have to confront Gato Soldier head on. Chapter 7, Waterside Renval. Also, in between last levels and this one, I managed my items a bit and bought some new ones for, uh, for some people. So, yeah. My brother is somewhere in that castle. Renval is surrounded by lakes. The only entrance to the bridge in the main gate, and it's well guarded. Castle Renval is a natural stronghold, easy to defend and difficult to assault. We must plan our attack carefully. I agree. Prince Erica, please allow me to fight beside you. My elder brother Ford is in there with Prince Aphraim, Sir Kyle and Sir Orson. Let me help you set them free! There is nothing to discuss. We will fight. Oh, wow! Everyone's coming up to say something! This is actually the last... This is the last level... Uh, well, wait, no it's not. No, it isn't. There's one more. Why are we all saying this now? Maybe it's a two-parter? Okay, because... There, there's a chapter... Yeah. Because after, after the next chapter, we're going to reunite with E-Frame. So I'll just, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers. But yeah, they're all saying this like, it is almost the finale, but it's not. It's just this, it's a semi-final of the first section of the game, I would call it. I'm your commander, highness. We're out with you all the way, right, dad? Don't work yourself with a lather, Ross. In the heat of battle, a good warrior wins calm, or lesser men do not. You need anything stolen? I'm your man. Of course, my blade's no joke either. I'll need I'll keep myself safe. You can't possibly consider fighting me without my genius at your side. I've yet to repay you for helping me fight those abominations. Please let me stand by your side a while longer. This is trouble written all over it. Bet you all it's a trap! Oh well, my life's gotta turn around sometime, right? May the secret light surround us and protect us all. Well, Princess, let us prepare for battle. Let's! Let's prepare! Alright, pick units. Who do we get to use? Same amount of units as before. Great. I really wanted to start using Archer. Uh, or, or Ross, but I guess we're not gonna. I guess we're not gonna be able to. So, I guess we're keeping the same people we had last time. Uh, let's see what we've got so far. Um, this chapter actually looks pitiful compared to the last one we just did. Like, wow, is this a joke? I. There must be some. There must be some gimmick that I'm not seeing because this looks incredibly easy. Ooh, this guy's an energy ring, but he doesn't drop. But after being killed, so meaning we need calm to steal it. Is that really worth it? Ooh, a ballista. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. This guy has, yeah, he can shoot all that area because it's a, it's basically an artillery weapon. Uh, only archers can use them, so um, yeah, gotta keep an eye out for those. Uh, do you guys have anything weird? No, this is all basic. The only thing weird is an energy ring guy, but we can't even get that. We have to steal with Colm. I don't want to bring Colm because that means. Leaving out someone that I want to use. And who's this guy? This is Murray. Ooh! Here's a knight crest. Good. That can promote any of our cal cavaliers or Gilliam. So, that'll be good if we can get that. And Gilliam, you go up front. Uh, Seth, you stay in the back. Healers also stay in the back. Uh, and loot go near the front because I want to use you. Same with Nimi and Joshua. Alright. I think we're good to go. Let's save it. I don't know why we save it, only in case Irika dies and we have to do it again. <laughs> That's basically the only reason we save it. Alright. Because I have basically, I've basically decided I'm not going to do resets unless I think it was really, really stupid why something happened. And well, we'll just kill this guy with a javelin right off the bat. Unless Gilliam misses one of these attacks. Good job. I think I explained in, in a couple episodes ago, but yeah. I'm not going to reset unless I think the reason we lost someone is really, really stupid. And trust me, it will take a lot for something like that to happen. Um, Joshua go next, then go to loot, and then Nimi. I don't like it when there's a one 
when there's such a narrow passage like this? Because, yeah, it makes it difficult to traverse. And then keep going forward and sat in this house just to see what they say. Tirado's the ma new master of Castle Renval. He's supposed to be an adjutant. Is that the right word they're using? I feel like adjutant is not a real word. Probably is, but... The General Valter of Grotto. Who knows, though? Rumors say he's been plotting behind Valter's back. You should watch where you step. Well, wouldn't that be good if he betrays Valter? Because, you know, Valter's a worse enemy. We're under attack! Rouse yourselves! Arouse yourselves! Arouse yourselves, man! <laughs> My god. There was adjutant. Lord Dorado is charged with defending the castle. Slow them- show them the might of the Murray's Brigade! Don't let it near the castle! Murray's Brigade? Did you just- did you just name this army right now? Out of your own- Okay, yeah, he probably just named them now. They didn't have- they weren't called the Murray's Brigade before, but now they are because he said so. I, like, I should totally name this battalion after myself. That's my predict that's my guess at least. Alright, Gilliam, good level up. Very, very good level up, actually. Incredible level up. You basically got everything up except for strength. Um like literally, because you can't up the last stat. Um I'll show you the next time someone gives a level up. I'm pretty sure the last stat is movement. Or con. I don't think those I don't think that goes up by levels ever. You need you need items to upgrade those. Um um, was that spot in danger? I don't care, it's an axe guy. Joshua can take that care of that, no problem at all. So do that, equip your iron sword. Gilliam, go forward, you need healing from Natasha. Natasha can't reach you, so I guess Mulder. That's fine. I'm using both Natasha and Mulder. I've decided I want I want to use both of them. I want to use both of them. Um, because I always think it's cool when a healer grows all the way up and promotes and is you know, an actual usable unit after that. In, like, in battle. Um, and yeah, I, I, I wish I could use Arter too, but I guess I don't need four magic units. But magic units are my favorites. You can never get enough of them. Like in my first playthrough of Awakening, I may have talked about this a little bit in the Awakening playthrough, but my character married Muriel, the mage. I turned her into a sage. I, uh... I put my my own character into a dark knight, which is a, basically a mage knight of this game. Uh, my, uh, you know, a, a horse-mounted mage. Then I also used Rickon, a, a, a sage. And then, you know, my char the char my character's kid, Morgan, I also made a sage. They were all magic. That, those were my magic units that I played through. That, it was ridiculous how many they had, and I loved it. It was great. And Josh, why didn't you kill this guy? Eh, he's probably... Yeah, I see why. You're not for- Joshua's not known for strength, he's known for skill and speed. So, that's fine. I really do like him, though, so. Loot, can you kill this guy? No, you'll actually suck. Like, immensely. Franz, can you, like, soften him up a little bit for loot? No, you can't. Nimi, how about you? What can you do? You can- Oh, I gave her a steel bow, by the way. Um, Nimi, you do this, and then Luke can finish him off. That'll be good! I know you get hurt a little bit, but we've got several healers, and we're not in a sticky situation right now where we gotta conserve all our healers. But like, this is a, this episode's like a joke compared to the last one. Finish him off, loot! You need lots more experience. You are, for some reason, not doing so well. Well, probably because we got you later than everyone else that's doing really well. Because, like, Franz and Gilliam are probably doing the best of all my units, and we've got them in the second chapter. Or, no, first chapter! The prologue where we got Seth and Irica. So... Okay, can the archer hit? Yeah, they can hit both, that's fine. They can both retaliate, and the axe guy can't hit either of them. That is good. Um, let's put Franz here with his sword. Uh, and Nimi actually can't get reached to be healed. Oops. Uh, that's fine. I think she can survive one attack. I think. I can heal one HP from Mulder, why not? <laughs> Experience! That's what you gotta do to- that's what you gotta do to raise healers. You gotta heal every instant you can. Screw how many, uh, healing staff uses you have left. Equip your hand axe, just in case the archer tries to go for you. Uh, and Seth, go here. Bring it! No, oh, he's going for, uh, Franz. Ow! That hurt. And now you're gonna die. Goodbye! 
Yeah, I had a feeling that would hit, even though it was such a low percent chance, it still hit. That's fine. Franz can't die. He's too good. Ooh, a mage is attacking me. Ow. Go loot! Fire is better than thunder! Except it's not. Like, at all. <laughs> Fire is the worst one. And yay, decent level up. Okay, decent. And the archer, uh-oh. Oh god. I mean, she's not dead, but that could have ended badly. That was very bad. How did I not see, wow, oh, okay, that was, I didn't see this mage, that was the problem. I didn't see this mage. Um. Okay, guy, heal me, me, and loot! Uh, you kill this guy, Erica. You can, you can kill him. Good. You can kill him. Stabby stab! Goodbye. Alright, heal, loot, and Nimi. No questions asked. Natasha, you got loot. Uh, wait. Actually, Mulder can heal more. Because he has higher magic right now, I believe. So, Mulder heal loot. Uh, that's about the same. Never mind. Whatever. I still don't like wasting mend, so... Alright, uh, actually, where can that mage move? He can't- he can't reach there. So, yes. Go here, Joshua, with your iron sword. And Franz, I guess you could just attack him, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, but you're almost dead! Um... Nimi's not in danger? Actually, yeah, Natasha, heal Franz, not Nimi. Because Nimi's not in danger right now. I could use her to shoot in that, at that mage who attacked loot, but nah, that's fine. Um, yeah, Franz, just kill this guy. You're fine. You will be fine. I trust you. See? I knew he'd miss. I, I didn't really say that specifically, but that's what I was hoping for. And yay, level for Franz. Nice job. Very good level up. Yeah, Franz is doing really well. Uh, loot, go over here. Will you get hit for over there? No, no, and no. Yeah, loot, go way over here. Uh, and Gilead, you can throw a javelin, right? That'll kill this guy. Except you missed. So now you won't. So now you're gonna get hit again by this guy we're using thunder. That's a, that's absolutely fantastic. That you failed to hit him. Can you rescue him, Seth? Yes, you can rescue him. Good, do that. Can you hit anyone else? He can hit Mulder. What can you do, Nimi? Can you kill him? You'll get hit with eight. But you'll, you're will you basically guaranteed to kill him. Unless a 92% chance misses. I've seen it happen, so I wouldn't put it past the game. Uh, or do I want to try Garcia? Only one 66% chance or two, 10%, two 92% chances. Uh, neither of these guys can attack in, ret in retaliation. And just on the off chance, could Garcia rescue Nimi? Yes, he can. So, on the off chance, one of these two 92% chances misses, I'll have Garcia rescue Nimi. And I'll, I just noticed that Ar that Archer, I mean that Mage, 1% critical. How hilarious and sucky would that be if he had gotten a critical? I've seen it happen before. I have seen that happen m many times where an enemy soldier has a 1% critical ratio and it just gets it. And that, that unit has never attacked before. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bring it, sword guys and axe guy and mage coming from behind. Wow. The sword guys aren't moving. Alright, so they're due to attack only when we're in danger. Um, so, Franz, get in danger. Get dangerous! Uh... Loot, stand next to him so you can burn the people who would try to kill him. Uh, you drop Gilliam. Can we heal Gilliam now with Natasha? Yes, we can. Healing power! And we also need to heal Nimi. We also need to heal Nimi. Very badly. We probably should have done that last turn. But we would have had to again this turn anyway, so... That's fine. Uh... Uh, yes. Joshua, go up here. Not rescue. Yes, keep that. Nimi, go here. Mulder, heal Nimi. And we'll be good to go. Yeah, that was a bit of a scare with loot or, but or Gilliam, but that well, that wouldn't have that wouldn't they wouldn't have died. It was just you know stupid that it happened. Garcia, visit this house. I want to see what they say. Houses never give you items, but they tell you about stuff. Prince Aframe, well, gra gracious me, I haven't heard anything about him. 
But as I but as mentioned, there was a big commotion a few days back. I guess those were chasing somebody, but... Well, I was retired, I fell asleep and missed the whole thing. Wow, you've been so freaking helpful, lady! So freaking helpful. Stab! And I if it, you're probably not gonna double these sword guys. They have pretty they have pretty good speed. And oh Ballista! Miss. Okay. I definitely should have checked the range of that, but oh well. A ballista only has five bullets. I, I think it's five? Can't really see. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so what is his range? Oh, he has all these people in his scopes. Um, can you kill this guy, Loot? You can try. Give it a try. Give it the old college try. Good job. Good job. You did it. You are the victor. And I don't mind if you're in danger from the ballista. You won't die from one ballista shot. At least you'd better not. Uh, I don't like this axe guy approaching. Nimi, can you take care of him for me? No. You absolutely cannot, because you still suck. Why do you still suck, Nimi? You're not supposed to suck anymore. Nimi, go over here. Uh, and, uh, 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 Joshua, intercept this axe guy. Uh, I don't think he'll actually be able to reach you. Balder, who should you go heal right now? You need to heal someone. Uh, you should... Hold on. Uh, Irika, you go here. With your sword. Uh... Um, Natasha. Hold on a minute. Is that spot in danger? That spot's in danger too. Oh, I was gonna heal loot, but then Natasha would be in danger from the ballista. Natasha's got four defense. Who's also got four defense? Oh, so by all logic, I should be also trusting her to be in danger of it. Maybe. Eh, it's probably a stupid idea, but we're fine. I think I think she can survive one ballista shot. It's better than just a long-ranged iron bow. Or it's probably a little stronger than an iron bow, but it's really not that strong. And that was a really good level up. Nice job, Natasha. Uh, and Mulder, can you heal someone too? I'd like you to heal Franz if you can. Seth, you just go up here and be all Seth-like. Uh, you heal Franz if his 2 HP. Because that 2 HP might matter someday. As a matter of fact, I absolutely know that it will. Uh, now you can go attack this guy. Uh, just stab him with your lance. Ow. That hurt him. Good job. And then he will probably die next turn. Who's he gonna attack? He'll go for either you or Seth, so he'll probably go for you. Uh, and Garcia, go up this way. And that's that. I dare you, Ballista, to shoot loot. Ha! 16% accuracy. Nice job, soldier axe guy. Nice job. You win. I am a little worried about the mage, though. He actually went for Seth! You jerk! He's, he purposely made me lose experience. Why would he go for Seth? See, that's why I don't give Seth a weapon. That's why I don't normally give Seth a weapon. He's going for Natasha. Ow! See? Did half health. Not, not all. Half. So it was really not that big of a deal. 11 damage you missed. GG. This is why I don't give Seth a weapon. He's not supposed to kill things. He's just supposed to, you know, be a meat shield. Um, but while we're at it, can you kill this Ballista guy? <laughs> just because I don't want to deal with him anymore? Might as well. And it always shows that battle off screen, even though it is an archer. Um, hey, Franz, can you be in danger so the axe guy can hopefully go for you? I'm going to hope. <laughs> if not, it's fine, I guess. Uh, Joshua, can you kill this mage? You can. Kill the mage. Murder him! And you're off the woods, you still he still missed. Nice job. Nice job, Joshua. And too close. Close to a level up. And we got a pure water. Yay. Pure water. As opposed to like factory made crappy water. And go loot! Kill this axe guy. Yay, we did it. I really want to find another arena. Not, not because I need to train, because I want Joshua to get his money back. Because he's a gambling guy. He's got to, he's got to gamble at the arena more. He's, he's itching to gamble more. He, him, not me. Obviously, it didn't. I'm just playing his character. Uh, Natasha, can you heal anyone? Just you know, for a little bit of experience. No, you can't heal anyone. No one. You're doing your job too well. Can't get any experience this turn. 
But you use your torch staff, maybe. Actually, I don't think you can. I think you can only use your torch staff in fog levels. And in the worst levels. They are the worst levels. Because when you can actually see everything, you can, you know, strategize and plan your attack. When you can't see what's going on, how can you possibly plan your attack? You're guessing. And good, you did attack, Franz. Good job, you fell for my trap. My experience trap. Nice job, Franz, getting a critical. You totally needed that. Totally. I think Franz is just trying to show off for his brother he's about to rescue. Or we're going to attempt to rescue. Who knows? I can't guarantee we'll actually rescue them. Alright, Garcia, just go right here in range of the one. Stand next to him. Uh, can you guys heal anyone just for fun? Just Franz. Um, Mulder, you healed Natasha last turn, so Natasha, you heal Franz. Yay! Alright, um... And everyone else just needs to catch up. And Gilliam, you can go there. Mulder, you can go here. Mimi, go here. And Joshua, just go wherever you can go. Go around the woods, that'd probably make it easier. And who hasn't moved? Seth. Alright! My god, what were they thinking when they made this chapter after the last one? The last one was like ridiculously difficult? This is like a joke, this chapter. This chapter is literally a joke. I don't know what they were thinking with the difficulty curve. But yeah, the fog levels are really freaking hard. Especially the last one. Like, it's not just because it was a fog level. It's just they threw so much stuff at us at the same time. That's what made it hard. The fog just added to it. Alright, um, goodbye, Solar. Well, this is gonna be a normal length episode for once, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's hilarious. A normal sized episode? What the heck? Um... Did I just go into danger? I did. Oh well. It's just an archer. And only you are in danger. Can anyone heal you? No, no one can reach you. Darn it. Well, no one's gonna, none of the healers are gonna get experience this turn. I don't like that. Uh, everyone just go forward, I guess. Go as forward as you can go. Uh, another thing I think I should do... Before I, you know, before I, I should, pl something else I plan out, I maybe should have, have in mind is who I should have support whom, and get like, who should I like pair together to, you know, fall in love at the end, because, you know, that's what they even finally get, you get to have super, so do support conversations, which gain them s stat boost when they're standing next to each other in battle. Um, oh, Martha Garcia and Franz can get healed this turn, yay, I like that. Um... I bought Erica the steel sword, and she's not making good use of it. Whatever, do this with your iron sword. And we'll have someone else finish him off. Experience for everyone! I'm gonna see if Mimi can do it. Steel bow. Uh, eh, just use your steel bow. Good job. Good job, Mimi. Good job. Alright, this is the next level up. Yeah, see, Khan is the last stat down there. That can't boost by level up. I can only go up by using a body ring. And Khan is a very weird stat. Like, they fu It's a stat that I never understood for the longest time, and they just dropped it entirely in Awakening. It basically decides the character's weight. Or, like, a higher... Like, if a, if a unit has higher Khan than another, it can rescue that unit. But, in turn, if they have lower Khan than someone else, they cannot rescue someone with, you know, a higher Khan. And also, Khan also somehow decides... I mean, I think it also decides, like... Um, their speed decrease when they wield heavier weapons? Which I find very strange, personally. I think in, like, uh, in Awakening, I think they replaced it, like... Weapon speed is just decided by either your skill or your strength. I know they... I know that they just moved over the, the role of that stat to another stat. So... Hey, Nimi, you can finish him off! I don't know if I should, because that was a low percent accuracy, but... Do it anyway! Yay! Good job, because I want Nimi to do better. Nimi needs lots of experience. It sucks that we, don't, that we don't have an Orion's Bolt to promote her when the time comes. I wonder whose fault that is. Or can we heal anyone just for fun? Yes, we can heal Nimi just for fun. Anyone else? No? Natasha... I mean, no, that was level 7, Natasha level 3. Yeah, Natasha, you heal. Oh, I yeah, it was Nimi. I thought she was above her for some reason. No, she was below. Yay! 
All right, Erica, go forward. Seth, just stay back here. I don't want you to touch the boss. I want everyone else to get lots of experience from this boss. It'll be very boss. I think that's a word people use. It probably isn't. All right, uh, so what does this guy even have? He's got a steel sword and a javelin. He doesn't have the javelin equipped, though. Just so I know. The steel sword is not enough to kill loot, so I know a javelin won't be. So, you might as well shoot a fireball at it. Worst that'll happen is he'll equip his javelin. Our ballista have failed? How could this be? It was one ballista, dude. It was one ballista. Alright, nice job, loot. You're helping. And yay, level up for loot. I like level ups for loot, because she's way behind. <laughs> and those are some good things to level up. Um, yeah, she's level 6 only. What's Nimi? 9! There's no excuses for Nimi being sucky right now! She's level 9! What's Franz? Franz is 12. Gilliam is also 9! Gilliam's 9! Gilliam's our other really good unit! <laughs> Alright, if he uses Lance, yeah. He won't be able to kill him in return. Do it, Franz! Do it! And even missed. Nice job. Alright, he's probably gonna go for loot, because... He'll do more damage to loot. And, uh, Nimi can't reach. That's fine. Um, should I heal someone? No, no one needs healing. Nobody needs healing. My healers have nothing to do! Idle healers! Um, can you throw your hand axe? Might as well. 18% chance, but... <laughs> can't hurt! Can't hurt, right? What's he gonna do? Throw the javelin at Garcia? If he does, he's, that's fine, but it's not going to do as much damage as it would do to loot. Can heal a little bit because he's on a gate. And yep, he's throwing a javelin at loot. Ten. Yep, that one, that's not going to kill him. Unless he doubles. That would suck if he doubled. He didn't. <laughs> I didn't think he would, but... Alright, um, he's, now he's, he's dying. He's got 13 left. Nimi, what can you do? Five or two? Why does Nimi suck? Mauler, heal loot, please. I kind of want her to get the last hit. I don't know if she will be able to, though. Um, Franz, go for an Iron Lance. Uh, it's a lower accuracy now that he has the Javelin equipped. So actually, move out of the way and throw your own Javelin. Or actually, just move out of the way. Just move out of the way and Garcia go. Nice, I like it. Do it. You still missed. Great. That's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Gar uh, G Gilliam, throw your javelin. Only oh, 42% chance? What the heck? Loot, don't attack. Oh, actually, no, attack. You're fine. You're fine. Yay! Miss! If he didn't miss, I would use Natasha to heal. Um, I could heal Garcia, but that'd be risky putting Natasha right there. Um, so... I guess that's all we're gonna do this turn. Yeah, end. Alright, that's perfect amount of HP for Luke to kill him. He's going for Garcia. That's not good. That didn't do anything. Like, wow, why didn't you go for loot? It would have done more damage to loot, I think. <laughs> Alright, fire! Fire its will, Commander! You missed. Loot? We talked about this. Throw your hand axe, why not? It can't hurt. <laughs> I probably should heal Garcia. Or I could just kill him with Franz. Iron Lance, 69 chance to do it. Stab! Good job! Lord Toronto! No! We couldn't stop them because they're too strong! And stuff. And two things, all right, that's all right, I guess. Could be better, but it's not horrible. And yeah, Night Crest! And Franz is probably gonna be the first one to use it, to be quite honest, because he's the highest level of all my units. All right, um, can we get extra experience before we, before we seize the gate? Yeah, heal Garcia with your with your healing staff. We may also be able to heal again with Mulder, because I don't think that'll heal all the way. It did not! Mulder, you get some experience too! Uh, Eric has to move, that's fine. 
Yay, healing with Mildred. All right. And then next turn, we'll just use Irika and seize the gate. Seize the gate! And we will win. We will be the wiener. And... All right. We will seize! All right, we are now in the castle. My brother is somewhere in this castle. Sad, we must go inside. We're already inside! Or are we just supposed to be on the drawbridge right now? Oh. Look! In the shadows! A figure! Enemy soldier! No, it's a blue unit. He's a good guy. It's Orson! Princess Irika and- Is that you, Seth? Sir Orson! Why are you here? You should be with Prince Aframe! Are you alright, Orson? If you're here, my brother must be here as well, right? Yes! Prince Aframe and I were both captured by Grotto forces and held there as prisoners. I managed to escape my cell, a chance to escape. It's what I had prayed for. Orson, are you well? Your face is so pale. Grotto's men, don't tell me they've... No, it's nothing. But Lord Ephraim, I cannot say whether he's still unharmed. What? Where is he? Where is my brother? If, if he lives still, he will be in the one of the deeper cells where I was held. Head down to this corridor to the dungeons quickly before the reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, that's where we're going to end it here. We will see in the next episode if we will, you know, save Ephraim or if something else is going to happen. Um, yep. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Rock on.